Welcome to Testimony Tuesday, brought to you by Experience Church of Bethpage. This is Lauren and Dave, and we're blessed to be talking to everyday people who have stories of how God's favor, kindness, and mercy have intervened in their lives. Join us as we experience our living God's compassion and love through their testimonies. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Testimony Tuesday. We hope that you're blessed today and that you're ready to hear a wonderful story from our dear brother, Dave, who, Dave, you have been such a special part of our life. Dave, you are somebody that really has spoken into my husband's life, my life, and we have known you for many years. We go so way back. You were actually our first friends. You and your honey were our first friends in the church. And it all stemmed from life group. When we met you, we knew that we just had found a friend for life because you and your wife are so special to us. You guys just, you guys just bring so much wisdom and strength and loyalty and real solid brother sistership to our life. And we are very thankful that you've been in our family for so many years. You've been part of our home for so many years. You've just, You've seen us through it all from the beginning of us really getting married to, to now. So it's been a long time. I think we should say maybe 15 years that, that we go yeah. back. Yeah. yeah. So although you are so important to us and such a good, good, good friend that we are just really happy to get to share this time with you and to have you part of this journey with us because you've been part of every journey since. So we're just excited to hear. So Dave, you know, with that being said, <laughs> um, can you just share a time that, that God strengthened your faith in a way that you were able to see his hand upon yes, you? Yes, of course. Um, you know, all glory goes to God. And, you know, this, Amen. I want to share my heart because God never stops working in our lives, right? So, yes. you know, through... You know, our God journey, you know, walking with him, mm -hmm. um, just keeping your eyes on him. I have a scripture verse, Romans 8, 28 mm -hmm. says, mm -hmm. and we know that all things yeah. work together for good to mm -hmm. them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. You know, Amen. it's not easy living just here now in this time, mm -hmm. but we all find strength and solace and peace and love because of God yes. and what he does, right? Mm -hmm. um, the story that I'm going to share is recent, you know, because God is working not in the past, you know, how I was saved or anything, but just where we are. He meets us where we are. Amen. And the, um, the trials that we go through is how God teaches us, yes. right? And a lot of the trials that we go through is just how he gets us closer and closer to him mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. and yes. i just think that you know this past year it was actually about a year ago we we're at church mm -hmm. we we're at the altar on a sunday mm -hmm. and we we're just praising god you know and dorian's next to me we're at the altar and we're praising and Mm -hmm. You know, the, the, the worship time is about to end and, you know, I open my eyes and I'm about to go back to our seats and Dorian, she grabs a hold of me and she's like, hey, I'm not feeling well. And I'm like, what's wrong? Like, I'm just shocked. Mm -hmm. Like, she's like, I don't feel well. You know, I, you know, I'm a little, I don't feel right. Something's going on. Yeah. Can you walk me to the back of the church? And I said, okay, you know. So we walk to the back of the church and she's like, I feel like my heart is, you know, something's wrong. So I'm like, okay. Mm -hmm. And I'm just not in that, you know, I'm praising the Lord. Yes. And so I'm totally like not registering what's happening. Yes. Right? Yes. And so I'm like, all right, let me go get water. And it was just unbelief. Right. So mm -hmm. she's not feeling well. She's you know, definitely not feeling well. And thank God, you know, church, I called a uh, ambulance and I'm still in shock. And, yeah. you know, we rushed her to the hospital mm -hmm. and 
they said they took some tests and said something's wrong with her heart. And I'm like, what? Like, <laughs> you know, it just stops you cold because you just yes. don't know what's yes. going on. You know, Chloe's in the uh, sanctuary and, you know, she has no idea what's going on. With her mom. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, so these things, it's you, unbelief. You don't realize what's going on and mm -hmm. you don't think it's serious because, hey, just on the way to church or, you know, the day before, everything is just normal. Mm -hmm. So things happen. You have no idea. Mm -hmm. But, you know, through it all, God is always with us. Right. Mm -hmm. So I had a peace because I maybe because of you know, just disbelief or just God, you know, knowing that God works together. Yeah, yeah, And sure. the word declares God will never leave us or forsake Amen. us, right? So you're always standing on that, like, you know, this past year or times before. Sure. I pray that all the time. Of course. No matter what it is, mm -hmm. God has promised us mm -hmm. that I will never leave you or forsake you. Amen. And just having that, mm -hmm. no matter what happens, mm -hmm. that's... You know, yes. <laughs> you know Strength what I mean? So first, I yes. think, you know, it doesn't matter if whatever happens, mm -hmm. it just gives you that peace, that mm -hmm. inner peace and that sanctuary and that strength mm -hmm. to continue no matter what. Absolutely. And, you know, the, the doctors ran the tests and then they said, OK, you know, we have to run tests again in four hours. She's in the emergency room because they have to have like a, a baseline test and then they run another test to see if things improve. Mm -hmm. And he says, everything else checked out, like, you know, her vitals are fine. Everything is fine. But all of a sudden they come back and they say that this test is not normal. Mm. There's something wrong. We don't know what's causing it because clearly you can just speak to her and she's yeah. fine. But yeah. this is not, this is not something I can just say, okay, go home yes. and you're fine. Yes. So they kept her overnight and one night became two nights and three nights and you know they're running tests and they just can't tell what's wrong mm -hmm. and you know it kind of scared us and you know she had to get a procedure done where you know the doctors think that she had a clogged artery mm -hmm. and they were going to send the camera through to to check so they did that but nothing so mm -hmm. ultimately the doctors said listen this is from stress there's this, you know, stress and her heart is weakened mm -hmm. because of the stress that she's facing. Little did I know that, you know, I mean, we knew that Dorian's stress was from her job. Yeah. And just, but she was just trying to, you know, be a tough person. You know, mm -hmm. she, she's always been, you know, someone that goes to work and mm -hmm. does, you know, and, and takes care of her family. Mm -hmm. It's just... We knew that she wasn't happy because yeah. she would only have negative stories about work and she's always staying positive and, you know, trying to share, you know, her her light because her customers always, you know, they like, yes. they they just love her, right? Yes. You know, and she, she speaks life to them, but it's yeah. just the situation, mm -hmm. you know, everything's in God's timing, right? And I think Dorian might have stayed at that job just a little bit too long past mm -hmm. what the Lord had said, okay, that's it. You know, mm -hmm. this, this part of the season is done. So, you know, looking back, we might've, this might've been God saying, okay, you know, you're not listening to your husband. You're not mm -hmm. listening to whoever you speak to about your job. Mm -hmm. This is what has to happen for you to separate. And, you know, eventually she separates from the job, but the doctor's you know, they spoke to us and, you know, they said, okay, you know, this is, this is what the diagnosis is. Um, you know, for the heart, we need you to strengthen it. So we, we need you to, you know, eat better and exercise and, you know, do the right thing. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we're processing it and, you know, together and that's a key part, right? Yes. So to do this separate, yes. but together yes. as a family, you know, mm -hmm. Chloe's involved too. We mm -hmm. all started eating healthier. Mm -hmm. And one of the byproducts of us doing that is, you know, Dorian getting healthier, me getting healthier. But, you know, we, we lose weight because we're eating healthier. But I lose, I think, altogether over 50 pounds. Wow. You know, and I'm starting to feel way better, yeah. you know, and Dorian lost over 20 pounds. Mm -hmm. 
mm. you know, through this process and, you know, going back to Romans 828, and we know all things work yeah. together for the yeah. good of them that love God to them who are called according to his purpose. Yes. Right. And we love the Lord. And we, yes. you know, everything that happens, God has to be in the center of it. Mm -hmm. And, you know, so many years prior, I've tried to lose weight, you know, just to five pounds. And it was always a struggle. Mm -hmm. But this time, it was in God's timing. Yes. That the weight kind of, I don't want to say it just came off because it was a lot of work. But yeah. it, we were able to do it. Because yeah. years before, I remember saying, if I could just lose one pound. Yeah, yeah. One, be one pound yeah. lighter than I was. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> on December 31st. Yeah. That would be a win, right? Sure. <laughs> no, that makes sense. <laughs> I love it. And I just, it, it, yeah. it just wasn't meant mm -hmm. to be. But mm -hmm. because of, you know, the situation that God had put us in, the weight kind of just came off, wow. you know, and I feel so much better. But it's, you know, it's through adversity and with God, you know, Dorian still has to take, you know, heart medication. And, mm -hmm. you know, I'm still, you know, through, you know, losing all that weight, the doctor took me off. I was on a pre-diabetic uh, pill took me off of that, you know, mm -hmm. reduced my cholesterol medication, wow. you know, and said, listen, you know, come back in, you know, a couple, you know, three or four months, we'll mm -hmm. take another blood work and might take you off the cholesterol medicine, you know? So, yeah, I mean, what God has for us, yeah. you know, we don't know, right? You don't see these things, but mm -hmm. I mean, what is impossible for our God? That's right. Nothing, right? That's and right. I'm not saying we're going to live forever or whatever it is, but man, you know, like I, I, I just went to the dentist today and I'm telling the dentist, you know, I lost, you know, this amount of weight and I haven't been this, you know, this is like the weight I was when we got married, you wow. know, and that's over 20 years ago. And this is incredible. Like, I just can't, but God is so good. And, mm -hmm. you know, it's not, you know, it, he always has a purpose for us. Right. And Dorian's not working right now, but we're on the car ride over. Mm -hmm. I'm like, you know, Maybe the Lord is giving you time to be with your yes. daughter before she goes away to college. Yes. You know, she's going to go to. Oh, I just got the chills. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's going to go to a Christian college, yeah. you know, and, you know, we're at peace with it because mm -hmm. God, you know, it's God's, you know, and we just, whatever he has for her, you know, whatever he, you know, and, you know, we know nothing but the best for our children. Yeah. But, you know, I've learned over this God journey that you put God first mm -hmm. and he takes care of all the details. Yes. Like, you know, the car not working, you know, needing a job and doing this, you know, you just keep your heart focused on the Lord and man, he just takes care of everything. Like, you know, we saw an episode um, and I don't want to give any spoilers because I don't <laughs> remember if it was the chosen in the movie theaters, uh -huh. but one line, and I don't think it's a spoiler yeah, that's that okay. Matthew says yeah. is, uh -huh. you know, things are challenging, mm -hmm. but you know, don't, doesn't matter what you have in front of you. Yes. He says, all Jesus asks is to follow me. And he says, if I just do that, everything is clear. And it just hit me like just reinforcing that, no matter what we have in life, just follow him. Amen. You know, and it can't be easier than that, Lauren. Yeah. And, you know, the Lord has, ever since you've known me, ever I have since. this Absolutely. smile. Yes. And it's God-given. Yes. You know, I smile. doesn't matter. Like, I'm always smiling. Yeah. <laughs> but that's just because the Lord Jesus, you know, and I'm not trying to boast. I no, everything it's, I it's have, him smiling. It's him. Yeah. It's yeah. him. It's, yeah. you know, and I just... I'm so blessed. Yeah. I can't, you know, it's just, I'm just so blessed. But that, that's, you know, and I share this story to encourage those, you know, listen, everybody has challenges, tribulations, mm -hmm. and, and not every story comes out the way you think, right? Yeah. Because his ways are not our ways, right? Yes. And his timing is not our timing. But, you know, yes. God, God's timing is perfect. Yes. And, you know, we just have to, you know, when, when, when these things come about, you know, I love Pastor Sal, you know, and I have this in my heart as well. You have to have a teachable spirit yes. in all circumstances mm -hmm. and that we're always learning. God is always teaching. He's mm -hmm. always loving and mm -hmm. he's always kind. And, but you have to be 
willing yes for that yes and uh, i just hope this encourages you know someone out there yeah to just I, you know i mean put god first and watch him do his thing <laughs> <laughs> i love it <laughs> That was awesome. <laughs> Dave, I love it. I just love it. I just do. I think that, you know, I, so I I love, okay, now I'm going to just speak on what I love. I know that everybody gets their own part of the story, but I'm just going to share my heart. I love that, you know, Dorian started with everything going on on that day, but that you know, God just took that day and said, okay, this is a game stopper right here. This is a moment just to stop and reflect and see where your next steps are going to be and to really, like you said, follow me. Um, but his, his protection was upon her in every single way because, you know, she was at church. It was right, like she was at was, church. She was, was kneeling and church. praising God. She was yeah. just in the in the spot of being in complete surrender to Him, yeah. and at the altar in complete just Lord, have Your way in my life. And He did. You know, He took that moment, and yes, it was definitely. There's nothing to take away from how scary that must have been, how shocking it must have been, how it really did just just stop you for a moment and say, what's going on? What is going on right here? This is confusing. I don't know what's happening, yeah. but I know that God, you're in it and I'm going to follow you with where you take us right here. And he did. He led you to the hospital. He led you to doctors that were thorough. He led you to, to, you know, get that wisdom over how to treat your body and how to make your body, which is his temple, yes. right? Yes. And, and inside of you that he wants to reside comfortably inside of you. And when we take care of our bodies, it's the sweetest spot for him to reside. So I love that he was, you know, giving you that wisdom to know how to take care of your bodies and to even pass it on to Chloe too, that, you know, he gave you doctors to put you on the right path, but that, like you said, you're following God and you're following his path with what to do. And that he took Dorian and he got her attention in a way that was just so, so gentle and merciful because it was scary, but she was in the right hands. Yeah. And that you were able to have God direct you and how to direct her as well with this job, mm -hmm. with her journey in this job and stepping away and, and taking that leap of faith that we have to take when we're in a circumstance in a toxic environment. like she was in that was just hurting her soul and hurting yes. her heart and hurting yeah. her attitude and and bringing her turmoil inside and and literally hurting her heart mm -hmm. and so yep. you know in every way and so i love that you know god used you too to really used you as well i should say <laughs> to really you know speak into her heart about that she could feel confident to walk away that that he would be taking care of her and, yeah. and you and Chloe. And I love that everything that's transpired from there has shown so much of that God is in all the details, yeah, yes. that he does take moments to get our attention so that we can all of a sudden turn our eyes to him and say, okay, God, you're in charge, you're in the driver's seat, you take the reins and you show me which way to go. And I love that you were all obedient to that as well, though. You know, you and Dorian and Chloe didn't, you know, let the anxiety get into your brain too much to where you felt like, okay, we can't step away from this job. Our finances won't be taken care of. And, you know, allowing the enemy to speak those lies upon you. And mm -hmm. you just kept on following in his truth, you know, and I love that. I love that. I love that there was a peace that came over all of you that, all three of you, you know, Chloe going to college in a couple of months, and I'm so excited for her. She, we've watched her be raised, so this is a really, you know, I, we've known her since she was three, so this is really <laughs> special, you know. But I love that, you know, you said something where just following him yeah, and just taking his hand and letting him lead the way because he is such a 
guiding God. Yeah, yes. He has such a guiding way about him that we can trust in him. We can submit to him. We can surrender to him. We can believe that his plans are for good. Yes. That even though bad things can happen and, and things can shake our faith or shake our spirit or shake us to the core like you were shaken that morning. But rightfully so, because it's okay to be shaken. It's yeah. just we have to be studied by him as well. We do have a God that guides us and allows it to be so easy for us to follow him. Yes. Because he is a wonderful, gracious, beautiful, amazing God that we serve and that we love. And because we have a God that we can follow and submit to completely, we can live our life in love. Amen. 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 Thank you for joining us today. If you like what you just experienced, please subscribe and share this story with a friend. You're welcome to take a seat with us at Experience Church in Bethpage, Long Island. Or you can visit us on our website at www.experiencechurchag.org. You can also follow us on our social media platforms listed in the description. We pray that you too can experience what it's like to live your life in God's love. Be blessed.